Hey everybody, Mike here. So in this video, we're going to show you how we do an epoxy floor coating. And this epoxy is going to be a metallic epoxy floor, so it's going to be a really decorative floor coating. Now, what we do is we always grind the floor. This is what it's going to look like, so stay tuned. Make sure you watch the whole video. But whenever we do an epoxy floor coating, whether it's for a garage or a house or a basement or whatever, we always grind the floor first. And the reason we do that is to profile the concrete. We want the epoxy to stick to the concrete. We want it to, to bond to it, to adhere to it, not peel off. So you can't put epoxy on smooth concrete and expect it to last forever. So we'll grind the concrete. We'll get it to about a, you know, maybe like an 80 grit sandpaper or something like that. And then we'll, we'll vacuum it and then we'll wipe it down to get all the dust off. And then the first thing we do, you know, we don't just put the metallic epoxy right over the concrete. We, there's a few steps to do before you get to that. And, and that ensures almost that you'll have really, really good success putting that metallic epoxy down. Now, what we do is we always put a primer coat down. And this primes the concrete. So that concrete is very porous. It's got a lot of, a lot of little tiny air holes and pockets in it. And this primer is going to sink down into all those air holes and block them and fill them. So when you go to put your epoxy coating on, you're not going to have all kinds of little imperfections and, and tiny little bubbles in it. So this is a water-based primer. And it's also a moisture blocker. So if there is any moisture coming up through the concrete, this will help block that moisture from coming up through too. And you know, one of the reasons you'd want to do that is any moisture vapor coming up through the concrete is going to put pressure on any type of coating that seals off the surface. So that that moisture vapor could eventually blister or peel off your epoxy if it comes up through. So this stuff will help block that. So it blocks moisture and it acts as a primer for us. So once we get that primer coat on, we let that sit overnight. We come back the next day. And now we're going to put what we call a base coat on. We always put a colored base coat on before we do a metallic epoxy. And you can see you can see how that primer coat dried. It dried nice and clear, kind of kind of like an amber almost, but pretty much clear. So we're the, we're putting a base coat down. We're using a gray base coat here. We could have used a tan one. We could have used a an orange one. I mean, we could have used all kinds of colors for a base coat. But the base coat is going to end up getting completely covered so it's not going to show through and what this does is for us this just ensures there's no little defects in that primer coat that would show through the the metallic coating so we always like putting a base coat down we'll put this epoxy down at about 200 square feet a gallon so it's gonna it's gonna we're gonna get good coverage and if there are any little imperfections a tiny little hairline crack that we missed or maybe a little pinhole that we missed we're going to see it in this coat and not the finished coat so we'll get this all rolled on well you know we we always ribbon it out like i'm doing right there and then we squeegee it around and then we roll it down nice and smooth and it kind of self levels itself out so usually when we get back We'll, we'll have to do let this sit overnight, come back the next day. You know, usually when we get back, there's always some dust in it or some type of little imperfections in it no matter what, so we'll have to sand it. But this is the basic steps to getting the base coat down. Is You know, we'll measure out our square footages, put a little piece of tape on the wall, and then we'll squeegee out the gallons that we mix. We usually mix about three gallons at a time and then back roll it and get it all nice and smooth. So the next day we show up, we're gonna sand this epoxy. And that's because, like I said, you'll, you'll get some dust that settle in this. You'll get uh, maybe even, even some bugs, a spider, a fly, or anything that settles in it will cause a little imperfection. So we'll always sand it down. Sometimes we'll use this buffer like we're using here, and sometimes we'll just use the, uh, like a pole sander, almost like sand and drywall. And then once we get it sanded, we'll vacuum it all up and then we'll wipe it down with denatured alcohol to get it nice and clean. So while we're doing that, we're getting our metallic epoxy all measured out. We're getting our mixing station set up 
getting everything separated and we're getting our uh, three gallon kits separated so we're gonna mix three gallons at a time we got two different colors we're putting down here we're putting like an orange gold and then we're also putting like a brass color so the brass color is gonna be like 60 or 70 percent of the color that's what Eric is putting down right now and then the orange gold will be the other 30 to, to 40 percent so what we do is we just ribbon this all out all over the place kind of random no set patterns to it just get it all mixed out all over the floor and uh, then we're gonna just squeegee it around and kind of blend it together a little bit but the first thing we got to do is all the different colors so there's tons of different colors with this stuff you know the company we're using makes makes those probably about 20 of them you can mix them together you can just use one color if you want um, but all kinds of people make metallic pigments for epoxy and it's ours comes in a powder form that we just mix into a clear epoxy so we usually mix it in the night before if you guys want to learn this is going to be my next training video in the concrete underground so if you guys want to learn how to do this step by step you know and, and maybe do this at your own place or or maybe do this as your own business that's all going to be in my next training in the concrete underground so make sure you sign up for that I'll have a link for that in the description down below and there's all kinds of other training videos in there on epoxy garage floors there's uh, how to do concrete how to do stamp concrete um, there's just that's my training Academy for if you want to learn how to do the same things we do so you can check that out so Eric's putting down the orange gold color now he's just kind of randomly mixing it in and you can see Luke squeegeeing it around and I'm finishing it off by just kind of kind of not really back rolling it but just kind of blending everything and make sure it's it looks kind of even on the floor and we don't have thin spots and thick spots of epoxy and I'm just gonna blend it and then just let it go it's gonna kind of self level we're putting this stuff down at about you know 50 square feet a gallon so it's going down really thick it does it does soak up a lot of epoxy but it looks really really cool when you're all done now I'm just finishing up by the door there making sure that I got really good coverage by the by the transition from one room to the other and and then I'll finish that one little spot up I'm also wearing these metal spike cleats so I can walk in the epoxy and not bother it and here I thought I'd let just let the homeowner try it and see what it feels like right in front of the door um, the homeowner this is a woodworking shop for her she's kind of a, a woodworker she's pretty handy she does a lot of crafts with the wood so this will end up being her woodworking shop when we're all done and this is what it looks like the next day so it it kind of keeps moving we let it sit overnight dry overnight and when we get back the next day we're going to put a top coat on it so we're going to put a clear urethane top coat on this and if there's no imperfections in it then we can just wipe it down make sure there's no dust on it if there are a few little bumps here and there and some imperfections then we just sand lightly sand it out with 220 grit sandpaper and that usually takes care of it and then we'll just wipe it down with that denatured alcohol again now what we're doing is we're putting down the urethane top coat and the urethane is very UV resistant it doesn't yellow in the Sun it's also more scratch resistant more chemical resistant than epoxy so we always we always protect the epoxy with the urethane urethanes go down really really thin so about 550 square feet a gallon with this one so we'll just get that rolled on Luke will kind of W roll it out then I'll back roll it make sure there's no roller lines and that'll finish off that'll finish off the floor we'll have to let this sit overnight and then the next day this stuff kind of it kind of levels out and it just clears right up so it's gonna end up looking beautiful like it did before we put it on but you got to protect this stuff somehow otherwise epoxy is gonna scratch so this is what it looks like when we're all finished up so orange gold and brass guys a nice up metallic epoxy floor if you want to learn how to do this stuff like I said my training video will be down in the concrete underground that'll be my next month's training video and you can sign up for that the link is below it's a monthly membership subscription and I'll teach you how to do concrete thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next video